Okay, before we start to actually take a look at how I do groom a dog, just worth while going through the tools that I use. And the first and most importantly are the thinning scissors. Um, as you can see, they're straight on one side, and then the other side has teeth in it. And what that does is it enables you to have remove the coat without having straight lines, which is key thing you're looking to make it look as natural as possible. Then we come on to the straights, which do have straight lines, um, and they I tend to use mostly around the feet. And they're quite long, but as you'll see, what it means is that you can get some very quick and effective cuts without having to just sort of, on a short scissor, wouldn't be able to do that. The short ones um, I use for ears. The benefit is that they've got these rounded ends so that when I'm going in towards the ears there's no danger of me um, going in and pushing into the dog's ear so it makes that a little bit safer. Next thing to move on to these are for doing the claws and as you'll see it takes off the claw very nicely and easily and one extra thing that's worth having clip stop um, basically if you should happen to um, actually uh, get the uh, quick and it sorts out the ble any bleeding straight away. I have to say though, I haven't used that for a long while. Right, then moving on through into the combs. Um, the wide comb is very useful for just going through and making certain the coat is nice and neat. And sometimes, um, if you do happen to get a knot, it's very, very useful to help pull out the knots because you've got wide teeth, so you can actually get the teeth in and then pull little bits of coat out of the way. Um, this narrower comb I tend to use just for moving coat out of the way that I've already cut off and I want to move it out of uh, against the dog's coat. But we'll take a look at this in more detail. Pin brush basically is a much bigger version of that comb so it goes through on the lung coat just to help clear it out and very good. Um, this is what you actually call these. I used to call them finger stools. Some people, um, or fan of the internet, them called as finger slips. But basically, um, they're used for basically what people use for counting money, and I use them for uh, hand stripping on the ears. And then the final thing, uh, clippers, which I use for the neck, and this is a, was a horse one, as you can see from the name of it. And I don't actually know blade numbers or anything. Um, it just works for what I do. Right. So having had a look at uh, the tools, let's get on with the work. <laughs> 